Hello. Hey, hello. Let's see if this works. Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing. So when I was six years old, I my, one of um, one of my uh, my mother's cousins, my mother's cousin's husband gave me a book called The C Programming Language by Dennis Ritchie, and I actually started doing some of the exercises in the book, and then she threw it away and said that. I was wasting printer paper by printing out my programs to show people. So I kind of wanted to come back to this book as an adult and uh, go through it because I actually had some fun messing with it as a, as a six-year-old. So I'm going to try and do that now, and I'm probably going to fail at almost everything I do here because I'm clueless. Uh, so I'm, I got up to exercise 1-9 in the C programming language, and I can't figure this shit out for anything. So exercise 1-9 says create a program in C that takes the input and only allows one blank. So essentially anything I type, it should be able to put that on the screen, but it should take one blank and turn, like, let's say I type 10 blanks, it should be able to turn it into one blank and I'm stuck on it. So I figured instead of suffering in silence, I might as well allow Paul Daniels to watch me suffer, period. So the first thing that I figure I'll do is I'll just write a basic program to take the, Ryan, you're not a victim, go away. That stuff's very annoying. Um, so the first thing I want to do is write a program that just takes the input and copies it to the output without doing the blanks. And then I'm going to go from there and build a program that does take the input from the, and, and get rid of any excess blanks. So let's start with that. Okay, so first thing we do, we create something to take the input. That's going to get the input. While that's going, well, as long as we're not to the end of the program, I haven't hit Control D on my keyboard. You're going to put this on the screen. So first thing to do is see if this works. So we write out new put car C, GCC, new put car C. A out. Does this work? Why are you using nano? Because it works, you cunt. Uh, okay. Multiple blanks. Okay, so this program works. So now we're going to copy that. You put car C, no blanks. Okay, so now how would I make this work without, while taking away the blanks? I mean, you're not shadow banned, man. Stop being a victim. I'm so tired of that. Okay, so, well, so what we do here is, let's see. Okay, where do we begin? I'm going to figure this out. So, while C get car, now let's see. If C is equal to a blank, if C is equal to a blank, Put car C. While, okay, now we go into a, a new state. While C equals get car. It's not EOF. If C equals a blank, pause. else put car C. Okay, so the whole idea here Okay, so let's see if I got this. Okay, so here's what I'm here's here's my thought process here. And you tell me how how off I am. So, while I'm doing the whole like get a character while I'm I'm getting a character from the keyboard, if it's a blank, put the character. Now, while we're doing that, if it's a blank again, pause the program else output the character that I put. So if it's a blank, fine, you get one blank. But if, it's a, if there's another blank, then pause the program. Let's see if this works. Okay. And what did I output this to? New pi, no blanks. Okay. GCC, no blanks. A out. 
testing with one blank. Fuck. Okay, so it deleted the first word and it got rid of every blank, not just the first one. Fuck. This doesn't work. Okay, so it literally, so my pro, okay, so now it gets rid of every blank. Fuck. Just remember last printed car and if last and last current car is space, don't print. Fuck. Okay, so th this is, this is shit code. This is like on a level of flex board view here. Fuck me. Hmm. Doesn't matter what OS I'm running on, it doesn't matter. I don't want to get into distro wars. We already have text editor wars. If I don't tell you the operating system, you can't give me distro wars. So that's, that's, my, that's my secret to avoiding distro wars, is I just don't tell you what it is. Okay, so I already can't read. Let's see. What if we try a different? Hmm. Hmm. The biggest thing here is you're actually just dumping data into random memory locations and you're blessed that it's not segfault yet. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're not up to that part yet. This is the, I got stuck on this exercise. I was able to do the other ones, but not this. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll remove the heart emoji. I gotta figure out how to do that. But I don't have Discord on this computer, so I can't load up your private message. Let's see, details. Is it in details? Add suitability. Show less. Live reactions. Okay, so it's li I'm guessing it's live reactions. There. I took off live reactions. Hmm. Okay, so the whole idea here is put, okay, put a character. If it's a blank, then put it. So this should allow the, okay, what I'm, what I'm confused on is, I'm saying if it's a blank, then you can put the character. So why is it deleting all my blanks instead of just the first one? If C is a blank, then put car C. Missing a semicolon somewhere or some shit? Huh. It printed only the first blank. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and also it deletes the first word. It's the additionalist. I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not telling you. I'm just not doing it. I'm not go. We're not doing distro wars here. I can't do distro wars. It rots your brain. If I tell you the distro I'm using, then people will start a distro war. If you don't know what I'm using, you can't start a distro war. You're right, it is only printing my first blank. If C is a blank. Okay, you're right, if C is a blank, put car C, so it's not printing my first one. Okay, so it's not printing the first letter because it's saying essentially if C, okay, now I get it, okay, now I get what I fucked up. So if C is a blank, it's putting the first character, right? Which is why it's missing, let's see, testing with one blank. So, I should never mind, okay, now it's, it, never mind, it's not ignoring the first character. Fuck. When you get into the second while, it doesn't exit from it. That's why it doesn't print more blanks. Okay. So how do I... Blank. You haven't restarted the program. Fuck. Hmm. Uh, Hannah, I'm not a nerd. I program worse than my cat. You haven't restarted, okay, let's see. I haven't restarted the program. Well, C equals get car, not equal to end of file. Car C. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. CS50X. Let's see. Hmm.
put a break statement. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's try something different. And C. B. Okay, blank. B is going to be a blank. If C is equal to, let's make this a blank. Okay, if C is equal to blank. Plus plus. Plus plus blank. equal to blank plus plus blank put car C if C uh, if B is greater than one B is greater than one. Oh, I'm if blank, if there's greater than one blank, then put car. I'm not sure. Wait. Okay. What do I? Here. Okay. B is zero. B is a blank. B equals zero. Wait. Is it equals zero or fuck? How many? How many equals do I put there, Paul Daniels? I guess. Okay. One zero maybe. One zero. If C is a blank, then we add to a blank. If the blank is great, if we have more than one blank, then don't print. Then just print a blank. Oh, wait. if blank is greater than one, put car C. Put card. Put one blank. So if blank is greater than one, put a blank. Okay, this is this is definitely not gonna fucking work, but I don't even care. I know I missed something here. I missed like a million things here, but fuck it. No planks. New okay. No blank. CF for clusterfuck. Dot C. Fuck it. We're gonna. I'm gonna. F uh, no. Eh. Okay, fail. This doesn't even compile. Wah, wah. Let's see. Expected that before a while. Put car C. Okay, try again. Error, unexpected unexpe declaration or statement at end of input. Huh. Accepted, expected declaration or statement at end of input. Line 15. See, that's line 14. Huh. No. No, you can't, Cathal. No, you can't. You're not allowed. Okay, well, I'm missing a closing brace somewhere. Yeah, because I opened one here. So there's one closing brace I need for that, and then there's another for this. And then, okay, so I'm missing a curly. I'm missing. This is supposed to be three. Fuck me. Okay. Does this work? Son of a bitch, we're worse off than we were before. Fuck me in the blank. Wow, okay, this doesn't even remove blanks. We went backwards. Okay, this literally doesn't even remove blanks. It removes words in the beginning and then, oh, fuck me, this is actually worse. Wow. I managed to make it even worse. I'm a fucking moron. What ever made me think that I had a brain that was capable of learning this? I'm actually retarded. Okay, let's see. Hmm. If it's a blank plus B, if blank is greater than one, 
then put a blank, but put a single blank. Wait, no, no, no. If p is greater than one, the desired result is to take whatever I type and print it out exactly as it was, unless I have more than one blank. So if there's more than one blank, it should only have one blank. So let's say I type this. So if I type this, if one, two, three, four, I, one, two, three, four, type one, two, three, four, one, two, three, this, it should type out if I type this, like I should get that as output. So it should just be getting, taking my, uh, it should be taking the input and turning it to output pretty much without the blanks. Use tabs. Yeah, I know, I suck. Okay, let's see. Hmm. If a blank is greater than one, put car this. If, yeah, you have to check if the previous character was a blank or not. Okay, so if C is a blank, then add a blank. Yeah, you remove, yeah, essentially remove multiple spaces and replace with one. Okay, well, we're going to start fresh. If B is greater than 1. Yeah, check if the next character is not a blank, then only print one blank. Pretty much. If C is a blank, add to the character blank. Uh, yeah, so Catlin, that's where I began the program. So what I, I started with this. Uh, yeah, so I started with Yeah, so this this works. So this is my basic little piece of crap. New put car C. Hello. This doesn't remove Access blanks. Clinton! Clinton! Goddamn cat. You can give minor hints if you don't give it away. Let's see. So this is this is the base. This is obviously this is the base. And now to get it to remove blanks, I have to do something else. Huh. If C is a blank, if blank is greater than one, put a blank. What if I just do else put car C? If blank is greater than one, else Put car C. What, does it, what if this does it? No blank CFC. GCC, no blank CFC. What? Expected that before else. Okay. What if I do this? Delete that curly brace. Delete this one. Testing. Fuck. Hmm. You're my. Th Blank blocks, uh, my, my curly braces are all unbalanced. Okay, so 
let's see, I have to fix that. So I have to have this, and then I have to have this. What if I got rid of this? What if I just didn't have a curly brace? What would happen there? Yeah, I don't have an ID. I don't have an ID. I have Nano. I use what comes on my laptop. Hmm. I do this. Best to use curly braces for your code blocks by default rather than the implied stuff, which only applies to the next line. Hello, hi, hi. Yes, and make fun of the beginner. That's that's what most people do to make themselves feel better when they don't have a proper confidence, weren't raised properly, had their dick cut off like the unsullied in Game of Thrones. Okay. But I'm actually intrigued that it's working the way it does. The terminal itself is making it interesting. Hmm. Well, I'm okay. Since James is repeating himself to Paul, I will have to start ignoring that. Let's see. If the next character after blank is same as blank, if the next character, if the next character blank is same as blank. Okay, so let's see. If C is equal to a blank. Put car C. Oh wait, if it's a blank. Then we just run the while loop again. C equals get car. Put car C. So my, my issue is not syntax. My issue is I don't even know what fucking code to write. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's get rid of this stuff. Start from scratch here. Well, let's see. If C is a blank, while C equals get car is not file, put car C. If C equal uh, C equals, well, I think I'm writing the exact same program again. I have a feeling I'm writing the same program again. Fuck my life. If C equals this, if C equals. Wow, I think I actually wrote the same program, the same shitty broken program, just in a different way. That that takes that takes F wow, that takes talent. It often it's often best to conceive a clear algorithm in your head on paper first and implement it in code. Okay, that's good advice. I'm gonna try that. Once this fails, which is hundred percent going to fail, 
then I'll do that. Does this fail? Oh my God, this fails so bad. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Get character. If char if character is blank. If Character is blank. Print character if The exercise, it's pretty much the title of the stream. Okay. Get character if character is blank. Print character if character is blank again. Don't print character. Huh. Hmm. Wait, if character is character is blank again, print nothing. Go back to initial. If yeah, okay, so we're gonna get a character, test that the character is blank, and then print it. If it is blank again, print nothing, and then go back to the beginning. I know, print nothing. No one cares about your personal stance on text editors. NZK. You're, that, that, that's fucking amazing. Yes. Okay, let's see. If the character is blank, print it. If the character is blank again, print nothing. Go back to beginning. But there has to be another state of this. Like, there's another state of this loop that I'm failing. Go back to, because the beginning doesn't even have put character. Because if, now if I do get character, put character, then essentially I'm bypassing the entire shit of, of ignoring if the character is blank. So if it's blank, print. Now within this state, within this little loop, if it's blank again, print nothing. Yeah, well, print, if the blank is bl blank, print character. What if it's blank again? If the character is blank again, then print nothing. Yeah, so test if it's not blank. Oh, test if it's not blank. So, okay, so print character. If character if character is blank again, test if character is blank again. If not blank, put car C. If blank again, print nothing. Go back to beginning, done. Okay, this I'll go. 
Extension. Algo exercise one nine. Yes. Your inner loop should only check if not blank. Okay, the inner loop. Which one is fuck? How do you know inner? What's inner versus? Okay, inner loop should only check if not blank. If it's blue, okay, so it's because I'm testing if it's a blank in the beginning. Pets of character is not blank. Is not blank. Not blank. Not blank. Put car C. Okay, you're right, because I'm testing if it's blank on the outside, so I would have to do it over here again. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, you know what? Cool. New put car C. That is, okay, we're going to save this as new put car C, no, bl no blank, clean up. That's, okay, yes. So, int. Okay, I'm going to save this to another window so I have reference to it, so I can see it. Uh, okay, so let's disconnect that one, detach tab, so I can see it. I can see the layout while I'm doing this. My only goal with this is to exercise my failing brain. Even if I fail at it, just like using this part of my brain, hoping will make me less of an idiot. Well, I'll see a car. Okay. Well, I'll see a car. Is equal to blank. Fuck, uh, what ID are you using? I'm using an ID, a three and a half inch Hitachi Death Star. I'll see equals get cards equals, uh, yes. Character is blank. If the, wait, no, 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 where was I before? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I had, oh, I actually literally just forgot where I was. Uh-oh. Son of a, son of a, my brain actually just worked. My brain actually just broke. Hmm. Why not learn Arduino? Go away, because I want to get this exercise. Every why not just person sh can go suck my sweaty salty balls hmm. let's just try this again Okay, let's see. This is what I wrote. Okay, so this is what I came up with for an algorithm. Okay, this is what I came up for an algorithm down here. How do I make that go? Get character. I'll see you get, get character. If character is blank, and C, while C get character is equal to, okay, if C is equal to blank, put car C. while c equals get car v not equal to blank is not equal to blank put car c
Go back to the beginning. Right, okay, firstly, if it's a blank, why did I tell it to put the character? Oh, see, okay, if the first one is a blank, then you can do it. But then afterwards, while it's a blank, while it's not equal to a blank, put the character, because we only get one blank. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Let's see if this works. I actually feel excited, even though I know this is not going to fucking work. GCC. You put card, no blank, clean up. And fuck me. Okay, man, expected that before C. Expected that before C. Oh, wait, what did I expect before C? Ah, yes, okay, you expected this. If C is equal to this. Oh, and also this should be a double equals. Yeah, because I'm doing it. I'm not assigning it, I'm testing. Testing is two equals, assigning is one. Okay, see, my brain's actually doing something here. I'm growing a brain. I didn't grain a, I didn't grain a bro. I, I didn't grow a brain in my mother's uterus, but I will grow a brain at the age of 34. Error, expect a declaration or statement at the top of input here. Okay, I'm missing another. Yes, I'm missing a curly bracket. That's fine. Okay. Fuck. Bada bing, bada fucking boom. Okay. Does this work? Fuck! Fuck my life. Yeah, this doesn't even print anymore. <laughs> what? Wait, did it seriously just print my instead of the rest? This doesn't even... Goggle my... Look, it literally just prints the, the middle... It prints the middle word without the last or the beginning, and it prints the... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> okay. No, no. We'll figure this out. Let's see. Okay. While C get cars and you put in the file. If C is a blank, put car C. Probably that terminals are line-based interfaces, not per character base. Your program's behavior isn't being properly represented. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now you start printing only after encouraging first blank. Just move the first put car one line up. But I think then it's it's not going to ignore the doesn't that break the no blank functionality. Yeah, see that that, that that defeats the purpose of the program. The entire point of the program is if there's a blank, only print one blank, not all the blanks. So putting put car before the if statement completely destroys the purpose of the program. I don't want to put the character if C is a blank, while C equals get car, while C equals is not a blank. I don't understand the big deal with using nano to write code. My problem is not the syntax. My problem is that my code is shit. It's not that it doesn't compile because the syntax is wrong. It's that I suck. Look, it's literally doing every other word. How the fuck is it deleting every other word? What happens if the first C is not a blank? Car. Else. K 
Can you can you even do an else in a while? Can I can I do else and while at the same time? Is that even allowed? Am I gonna break the internet by doing that? I'm probably gonna break the internet by doing that. Fuck. Let's see. Yeah, that breaks the internet. Fucker. Expected identifier that before token twelve. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, that breaks shit. Put the while inside the else block. I'm retarded. Hmm. Yeah, so here's my pseudocode. Uh, The editor is not the problem. Okay, so I'm learning that there's a lot of autism around editors that I wasn't aware of. It's good to know. Character is blank, print character. Let's see. I'm dangerously close to the point of cheating. Because I think what I should do now is cheat and then work backwards and try to understand why the why the answer key code works. Huh. But then I'm going to feel like a moron that I wasn't able to get this. I'm trying to do exercise 1-9 in the book that I linked. If it Pretty much what I wrote here. So removing blanks. So removing excess blanks. So let the first blank exist, but remove the rest of the blanks. Hmm. You walk us through how you think your program will process A, B, C. Okay, so over here, get a character. If it's blank, then put the character. If it's not blank, if, it is, if the next character is not blank, then put the character. But if the next character is also a blank, then don't put it. Yeah, so the whole idea is get, get whatever I type. If the character is a blank, you get one blank. However, if the next character, only continue this shit if the next character is not a blank. So if the next character is a blank again, don't put it. Only put the next character if it is not a blank. So you get one blank, and that's it. Else needs to be outside. Huh. Your if-else syntax is incorrect. Else is inside if. Else is inside, okay, so I'm supposed to put that here. Put car C, else, while, you open your if with a curly brace, then that has to close before your else. Okay, yes. Yeah. While. A 
Okay, my brain actually broke. I have no brain left. I'm literally just staring into the void. I completely forgot what I was my line of thought was. If C is a blank, put car C, and then if C is not a blank, put car C. This is... Okay, I feel like I'm even further away than I was before. No, through no fault of any of you, that's just me. a boolean variable called least car with space. I know how to make a car, an int, a float, and a double. Huh. You can do a while inside the first if that there's nothing. Why not use C++ with Visual Studio? Why not? I don't know, why, not that? why not this? Why not that? I don't fucking know. Why not? Because if, if I start somewhere else, then somebody else is going to come along and say, why not do this? And then if I start over there, then somebody else will come along. So essentially, it's just impossible. It's like Distro Wars. It just doesn't get you anywhere. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. If C is a blank. You need to look at the previous character too, so you can find out if the previous is a space and the current one is a space. Don't print one. I'll well, see equals get character. If C is put car C. You need to look at the previous character too. Isn't C the previous character? If blank, then... Okay, so if blank, put character C. Let's go back to this, okay. Get character. If character is blank, print character. If the character is not blank, Put character. I gotta make myself breakfast in a moment. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I've been fucking with this for the past two and a half hours. Hmm. If character is blank, print character.
I think this is the right algorithm. Okay. Is this the correct algorithm? To be clear, not the right code. Yeah, Sander, that's not really, that doesn't, yeah, yeah that, 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 that kind of takes away the fun, man. There's no point to that. Um, let's see, what page are you working on? Exercise 1-9, exercise 1-9. Uh, I linked the book in the description of the video. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Not correct algorithm. Okay. Let's see. If character is blank. How about that? How about that? You get a timeout. How about that? Huh? 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 How about you get a timeout? How about you get a timeout, young lady? Okay, let's see. Hmm. You want to print everything that is not blank. The other guy's not doing that. What if character is not blank? If last character is not blank, do print another character. Character is blank, set a variable you may be for C to true if not false. Huh? If character well if character is blank, set a variable you made before C to false. Set a character for C to false. Okay. Uh, no, I don't I don't know how to set a Boolean yet. Not that far in the book. Set something to equals false. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not that far. I think there's no way out of this without reading further or cheating. I think I have to read further to get into Booleans and then understand this. Or cheat. This is not correct. No shit, Kevin. Hmm. Bool. Bool. Okay, so I have to set a variable to, if character is, is blank, set a variable maybe for C to true. Bool blank? Yeah, I haven't even read on how to use bools yet. I have not read up on how bools work. I should do that now. Bool blank false. If, okay. I already did the LED thing. You, you can't go down that rabbit hole, Matty. If you go down that rabbit hole, you'll never be anywhere. That rabbit hole of the start here, no start there, you'll never win. That's a game that you'll lose. Hmm. Only print if the Boolean is false when checking if it is blank. I gotta get myself some breakfast. You know what? I'll be back after getting some breakfast. I need some food. Thank you. It's been fun. I'll be back to torture myself for the rest of my Sunday with this soon. I need some eggs, some turkey sausage, some avocado, maybe even a little slice of cheese.
<coughs> Anytime, Core. It's a very old book, but it's a good book. Okay, where did I leave off here? I left off with the trying to figure out the Boolean thing, but I didn't read on it. So I should do some research on see how use Boolean. Let's do a little bit of reading first. Boolean and C with examples. Let's read a few sites and see if any of them make any sense. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to load chat on my phone, actually, so I don't have to have that stupid window opened here. Okay, this website talks about career roadmaps. So you loo, you go away. This site wants me to turn off my ad blocker, so you go away. And let's take a look at this one. I'll also bring up my own stream on my phone, because I don't have a second monitor on my laptop. Interesting. My charger is not working. 
Uh oh. Hmm. There's something wrong with my charger. This outlet doesn't work. Whoa. Huh. One moment. I don't have a working outlet. Okay. Damn. Okay, first problem I have to figure out is why my electrical outlet in my room is not working. bad charger that would really suck plug that outlet this is the outlet okay looks like my house has a bad outlet luckily i rend Back to this. Okay, let's read some Boolean. Boolean data types is internal. Okay, so you have to include a library for it. Looks like a boolean is just a one or a zero, based on whether you said it true or not. Turkey sausage, two eggs, and mild cheese.
Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. First thing to do here is change my hotkey. This is my algorithm. Get a character. If the character is blank, print it. If the last character is blank, then print any character that is not blank. Go back to beginning. All right, I have a recharged brain. Try running your algo using a piece of text. Okay, get a character. So I get a character. I'm going to get C. If character is blank, print character. Well, it's not going to print. If last character is blank, print any character not blank. Oh, but what about printing a normal character? It doesn't print a normal character. If the last character is blank, print any character not blank. OK, so it's missing something. It's missing printing a normal character. Else, put car C. Okay, so if I ran through this with a normal character without else put car C, let's say I have C. If the character is blank, print it. If the last character is blank, print any character not blank. If the last character is blank, print any character not blank. But that's if the last is blank, blank. But what if the last one's not blank? So it needs an else there. Else put car C. This would not print it. This would print my C. OK, so I was missing something there. That's good advice. Wow. Try running your algorithm using a piece of text. That was actually really helpful. OK, I don't, that was stupid that I didn't think of that sooner. OK, now I have to figure out how to translate this in a, prog in, in a program code. Uh, that's that's going to be the fun part. How do I translate what I have here into code over here? Okay, thank you. Okay, Eric P, that was insanely helpful. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my original program. I'm going to start from scratch here. I'm actually going to start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch, okay? Don't make fun of me. Uh, now put car C. No. Uh, one moment. One moment. I actually have too many fucking random windows open. I have way too many random windows open. Let me just close my random stuff and then I'll be right back. One moment. I think I'm actually on to something. My brain is actually on to something. One moment. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Close. I'm going to keep this open, but I'm going to put it to the side so I can still see it. I'm gonna say, I want to see my algorithm while I write the program. I really need another monitor for this. Like trying to stream and have chat and all this other stuff open is kind of cancer. Let's see. Did I? Okay, let's do this. Bada boom. I'm going to go nano put car C. Okay, we're going to save this as after breakfast. Dot C. So this way I'll have proof later that it will remind me to eat. Because if I'm able to get it right after I eat, that means that I'm not a complete moron like I think I am. Okay, wall C, let's get character. End of line. 
if C equals blank, put car C. Blank. Print character. Okay. If character is blank, print the character. If the last character is blank, if C equals blank, if C is blank. <laughs> I know. If, okay, I don't, fuck. What's last character? Shit. I don't have a command for last character. Damn it. Put car, anything that's not a blank. Yeah, I also don't know how to, do, I don't know how to express put any character that's not a blank. Print any character not blank. Prints, okay, if C is a blank, put car C that's not equal to blank. Oh yeah, fuck. I thought I had a brain there. Oh man, I fucked it up. I was so close. I was so fucking close. Oh man. I was this close to actually having something that worked and my brain just broke. You need to track last character with blank. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to do that. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Back to the drawing board. Let's see. Okay. Get character. If character is blank, print character. Character is blank, print character. If character is blank, print character. If last character is blank, If last character equals blank, you know, wall C, wall C equals get car is not. While C equals get car is not blank, put car C. Else, put car C. Okay, I probably fucked up a curly brace here or there, but let's see. Let's see if this actually does anything. Put car C after breakfast. Does this work? GCZ. Okay. Try that before a while. If I see while C equals get car. I think I need another parenthesis here. Once you are past the first if block, you know you just passed the space. What's next? Once you've passed the space, put it, but for the next character, as long as it's not a blank, put a character. But then put a character even if it wasn't a blank. Man, okay, I'm, I feel like I'm fucking close here. I just am missing a curly brace. Okay, the text editor wars have gotten old now. We're an hour in here. Let's see. Wall C, get character. I think there's a. Is this. Should I have another one of those there? Now let's look closer at the error. Expected identifier this before a while. Why would you expect that before a while? 
Well, I would expect this before while. Huh. No, let's see. I mean, I didn't have that before this while. I did not, okay, I didn't have a, I didn't have a parentheses over here. I have the same amount of parentheses over here that I do over here. Okay, now we're at syntax autism. Hmm. This? How did I fuck that up? Oh, they mean the first while. Fuck me. Okay, the first while had that. Wait, if I copied this from what I did before and what I did before worked, then how the fuck did it even happen? Okay, after breakfast, C, in C, well, this, if C, this. Error expected curly brace that before else. Okay, yeah, point taken. Point taken, okay. Listen, you got it. But wait a second. Okay, let's do that. Fuck you. Ooh. Fuck me. Fuck me in the blank. F oh, wait, damn it. Okay, it's, it's partial. Partial. One, two, three, four, five. Blank. One, two, three, four, five. Deletion. Okay, so it, it okay, the, the, that, what the, okay, I, I feel like I'm closer. So it, look, it's deleting some of them, but it's not deleting all of them. Fuck. So, it, okay, I'm deleting some of the blanks. It's not doing the shit with where it deletes the first part of the word anymore. Else put car C. And then you gotta go back to the, wait, so why are you d only deleting a couple of blanks? Wait, so let's see. So while get car is not equal to a file, if C, is a blank, then put this, put put the blank or C. If C is a blank, put the blank. While C is a blank, while oh while C is not a blank, put it in there. But this while else, put just put whatever the f hmm. Okay, so now I'm really fucking confusing. Now I'm really confused. Okay, this is progress. That's cool. My program sucks less now than it did half an hour ago. So that this program is infinitely less shitty. This is infinitely less shitty than it was an hour ago. Because it actually fucking does something. Like, it can... Alright. What's now? Let's see. Well, if I don't know, because I need, I need this part. Put car C. Else, put car C. I, like, it's not... I don't think I need to delete that part, because... No, okay, if I delete this part, then I'm not going to print it if there's no blank. Watch, let's see. If I comment this out, is it this or is it? Yeah, I think it's this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. You need that there in order to follow the algorithm that I chose. See, this is my algorithm. Else put car C as a part of it or else it's just not going to print shit. See, when I edit the program that way, it's okay. You, you're allowed to be wrong. I've been wrong the entire fucking time I'm doing this. Okay. If C is equal to a blank, put the blank. Then,
your new code is looking for next character now. Hmm, small hint. What if you did while get car equals equals space instead of is not equal to? Okay, what while well, get car is equal to a blank. If it's a blank, put C. While C equals get car is equal to a blank. Okay, see, that would confuse me because that would say, as long as it's a blank, then put it. So if, if, if I'm putting a blank once and then I'm putting the blank again, how does that stop me from getting infinite blanks? I would imagine this would get me back to the whole infinite blank problem. Yeah, see, now it just deletes words. But this is a multi-line comment, you say? Smart. That's a, you're a smart man, my friend. See, this is why you're going places and I'm not. Put a semicolon after the while and remove the final put car. No, you're, you're falling into the trap. We already did that. That just winds up not printing shit. Try describing you running your C code with text like you do it before the algo. Your second wall, it looks for an empty space. If it finds one, it adds it to the buffer. What's a buffer? However, when they break out of the loop, it doesn't advance the string buffer. What's a string and what's a buffer? Your mi while is blank, pause the program. Once you see a non-blank again, print it and continue. Huh? The while loop doesn't execute if there are multiple spaces. So you need to increment the C. You're missing a plus plus in the C. I'm not trying to increment C. C is the character that I'm trying to pull up. Point out C is not C is not being used as a way to count blank. C is simply the character that I'm looking to shoot at. Yeah, and I know. Writing another variable to store previous character. I don't know how to use previous character. I don't know how to say previous character. I don't know what the command would be for that, so that doesn't work. Write ph, fuck php. I don't know. This is so painful. You have no idea. Hmm. What does this do? Well, C equals a car is not equal to a blank. 
pause. So what, what does the semicolon by itself do? Does that just mean pause, like ignore, or do nothing? This, I really don't get what you're trying to do. It's in the title. I don't know what I, I don't know what to do at that point. It's pretty much in the title. Um, so the it's it's literally the title of the video. So okay, so the semi what does the semicolon do after a while? Is that like do nothing or does that mean like continue? No operation. I think that may be what I'm looking for. Because I'm getting extra spaces because it's doing extra shit. Hmm. Yeah, it's still funky. It doesn't, it's taking out some blanks, but not all the blanks. Hmm. I'm dangerously close to cheating. And then working backwards to figure out what's different between theirs and mine. Put the equal equals back now. This? Oh. Oh, okay, well, not when it's not equal to a blank, when it is equal to a blank. So if it's equal to a blank, you get a character. While it is equal to a blank, you get shit, because that second blank, you want it to do shit. Stop, fuck, end the program, and anything else, put car, anything else you can just put there. But if I did that, wouldn't the else end up in the first blank being deleted, but all the blanks after it not being deleted? Huh, let's see. Let's see. I, I thought I think that the way this would work would be every blank after would be deleted. Oh, oh, fuck me. Okay, it's doing the thing where it deletes the. Fuckery. I think I went backwards. I have a feeling I went backwards, but I can't tell why. Okay, so it's deleting all the blanks evenly. It wasn't doing that before. Actually, you know, it is deleting all the blanks equally, but I kind of went back to where I was originally. You still need one more put car else after.
You can put the lovely sunny semicolon right after the empty while. First put car and the else is right. You just need one more put car. I don't I'm trying to understand why I need another put car. Like I don't understand why what I have is not printing out everything. Let's see. So I'll see, blah blah blah, you get it. You get the character from the keyboard. If C, if what I get is a blank, then put it. While C is equal to a blank again, pause the whole shit. Don't do it. Else put car, else put whatever. So the whole, this line should be just putting whatever. Why is it deleting a character? Once it gets to a character that's not equal to a blank, the second while breaks and it never does anything. It goes back to editing the next character, so it skipped. Okay, so that would mean... Okay, so this works, but I don't get it. I'm almost more pissed now because I don't get why this works. Okay, so while C equal, while, while it's a blank, do nothing. But then put car C. So while C is a blank, do nothing. But then doesn't this the opposite of do nothing? Like I just told it over here to do nothing. But then over here, after I told it to do nothing, I told it to put the character. So doesn't this undo this? Like, what's the point of this if I have this? This makes no sense. This literally, I, I mean, the program works, but, I, but I, I have no idea. Like, I fixed it, but I have no idea why it actually works. No, I, I ran it. I just don't understand why it works. It does nothing while C is nothing and then stops when it's not a blank. No, this this is gonna isn't this gonna isn't this gonna stop when it is a blank? It, look, because the double equals means when this is a blank, stop. Every time get car is found, it looks the single semicolon is useless. Okay, so let's say I delete the single semicolon. Let's say I delete the single semicolon. Yeah, see, that doesn't do it. No, I need that semicolon. Wait, what is this? What did I just do here? Oh. Yeah, I need that semicolon. Because without the semicolon, I get this bullshit. I think I just broke my indentation. Okay, this, yeah, so this, that semicolon is needed. So any of you who are saying this semicolon is not needed, uh, I throw you away. I ignore you. Thank you to N for being one of the most helpful people in this entire process. You did not tell me what to do. You just helped, you just like hinted at it over and over. Okay, so let's see. So, yeah, the, the, okay, so the problem that I have here is I don't know why this works. Like I just kept guessing until I got it. Semicolon should go in the same line as the while. Okay, but here's my question. 
So this is saying to me, what I see this saying is, while, while I'm getting, okay, get, what this says is get the character from the keyboard. If the character from the keyboard is a blank, then you can get a blank. After doing that, if there's a second blank, don't do shit. And then over here, it puts a new character. Over here, it's going to put my new character. But I don't understand how I got, like, I, I, th I thought this should be enough. Why is it deleting a character? Wall C, okay, after this, game blank. This while is equivalent to while gick. Okay, that's not it. Let's, let's see. Think of a semicolon as do nothing. The else is for the if statement. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is for the out. So, so I fucked up my indentation because this, okay, so this should be like this. If I really wanted this to make sense, I would have done this. Is that, am, am, okay, am I right in saying that if I had, if I had uh, organized my code like this, it would have made more sense to me? If he is equal to a blank. When you exit the while loop, C is no longer a space. But since you entered the if block, you will not enter the else block. So you skip a letter at the end of the while loop. Put your curly brackets in separate lines. Okay. How many indents do you put on the on the bracket? It goes to there to match up with here, right? So this should go over here to match up around there. Am I right? Or should that go like here? Here, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Or is it, is it like a correct way to do it? Or is that like a holy war shit? Oh, fuck. It's a holy war. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do a holy war today. I mean, I know it doesn't matter to the compiler. I just mean in terms of like readability and shit. Like, is there a best practice? Like, I know the compiler is not going to give a crap. It should be before the else. Like this. Okay, and put this one on a new line too. So this gets a new line like this. Like this? It's a holy war thing. Shit, okay. This under the if, and then this one over here. Okay. Make sure this still works after all that fuckery. I still want to make sure I understand how this works. Before. I can't move on until I know why my mistake did that. Okay. If C is a blank, put a C. If C is blank, put it there. While C is equal to a blank, again, shut up. Okay, so that's why I would shut up. Because it would just repeat this while loop. After the blank, it wouldn't it would be repeating this without this. Now, like wh how do you know when this is running versus this? 
because I feel like that's that, that, that's like a different state. I think that I think one of the primary problems that I have here is that I don't understand the concept of states in programming. Like this is running inside of this, which is running inside of this. Run the code with pen and paper if I really want to understand. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to find myself a pen and paper. I'm not moving on to the next thing until this makes fucking sense. Because I, I got it. It's just I don't like how I got it. I don't like how. Me. Why is your wall indented? Because I dropped it on concrete. Wall is an if with DC al fine to the while. Okay, that makes no sense. Do you think the second while runs the second put car? The second while, no, because it's over here. That it's outside of this. You have to understand the concept of blocks and then nested blocks in order to understand which lines get executed and how many times they do. Think of it as a set of instructions to perform a task, a recipe, then build behavior for each step. Think of running code as moving your finger line by line and running instruction on that line. Some instructions like if, if move your finger to different lines when the if succeeds or not. And while this, if it's a blank, put the blank. False. If it's a blank again, don't do shit. Take a string and run it by hand using these instructions. Okay. Let's take.
Everything inside of brackets counts as one instruction. You can put nothing in there if you want, same as a single. Too much inception for my pea brain, says JB. Put the second. I right, put the second put car one and then to the left, and then you'll get it. Get car is grabbing the next character index at the second while loop. While get car is called and it doesn't equal blank, it's already at the next non-blank character. I'm still trying to understand why I need this other put car C. Hmm. It's going to come to me eventually. I have a very tiny brain, so it takes a while. My brain is actually the size of a peanut. In case you store a non-blank in C, the tests fail and move on to the next statement. Hmm. You need a second put car because the while loop stops when it is no longer a space. C is not a space. Yeah, it's only doing the get car. Okay, it's only stopping when it's a space. So the put car C is being done after it's not a space. So it's essentially saying anything that's not a space, put car. The second wall loop goes to the car after the blanks. Does this get characters after the blank? I thought it only gets, this only gets characters that are blanks. The second wall doesn't get the character after, it gets the character after the blank. This gets the character after the blank, but only when it's a blank. I think I have to accept that this is not gonna make sense until later on. Should I just accept that this doesn't make sense until later on? and move on to the next exercise and reading? Or should I just sit here burning my brain on this one point until I want to kill myself? May I suggest a slight reorder? You still need another check that could be eliminated that way and I think it might get more readable. What other check? That put car. Do you know the difference between loops that check the condition before running and after? It is still talking about the C that made the while condition false. C equals get car is still being called when it's checking if it equals a blank.
or in your brain, because if you don't understand this lesson, you won't get the next. Hmm. Second law loop will first get character. When it stops equaling space, when it stops equaling space, stop looping. So C equals non-space at the end. Okay, so when it stops equaling space, put a character. So it's. Oh, now I fucking get it. God damn it! That took forever. Now I understand it. Okay, that took a really long time. That's embarrassing. I'm pretty dumb. All right. So I guess with now that that makes sense. Man, that actually took a while. The funny thing is I think I'm going to forget it in 10 seconds too. There's a good chance I forget that shit inside of 10 seconds. Can you explain to us when the else statement runs? The else statement runs when I type something that is not a blank. So if I start my sentence with, instead of starting it with a blank, if I start it with the letter E or any other character other than a blank. Write a comment in your code to remember.
Where did I leave off? I left off at... I already did the, the Fahrenheit program. Isn't EOF control D? EOF is one, because I, I already I already got confused by this. Blackberry, eat the food that I gave you. You have fresh tuna from Reveal. Yeah, I did this already. Uh So end of file is negative one. I already, because I, I, I was already curious what the fuck is end of file mean? What would put character end of file do? I think would put, hmm, would put character end of, well, if, if I did control, wouldn't control D be that? Oh shit, control D is end the file. It would just end the program, I imagine. See, that was the question that I had before. So as so like, why is it when I type, okay, if end the file ends the program, this is the pressure that I actually had from my boss. I said, okay, so let me, let me just go back to that line counter. So, word counter. Huh. GCC. Okay. See, negative one, it doesn't end the program. Negative one does, uh, what negative, but that, that was what confused me is if, if it does this as long as it's not end of file, but negative one is end of, but end of file is negative one, why does negative one not end it? And the reason for that that I found is when you do man ASCII, negative one is actually not represented as negative one. It's represented as some other random shit. So like a negative is represented as, yeah, like negative is represented as M and then one is represented as Q or some shit like that. Either way. That's why I use int for characters. Otherwise it will underflow to 255. Yeah, control D is end of file. So I do this. Hang on, that doesn't do it, but control D is end of file. So what is, is control D just sending a negative one? What is control D sending? I'm very curious. Okay, anyway, back to my book. Where did I leave off? Because I got stuck on this for a long time. So verify that this is get car and the file is zero one. Did that. Write a program to print the value of end of file. I did that. No, this is where I got stuck again. Fuck. Line counting. Word counting. Yeah, the word, okay, the word counting shit is where I got totally stuck. So they give you what the word counting program is. 
Okay, so write a program to count blanks, tabs, and new lines. I think I did that. Let's see. Did I do that? That's one way to find out. Okay, one. Okay, first, let me just change my commands over here because I messed up the commands for OBS for switching back and forth. I used F1 instead of that little tilde thing, which kind of messed me up here. One moment. Okay, I fixed OBS. So let's see. Where was, did I put my word counter? I really should have had a better <laughs> syntax for all these little files I was making. Okay, where's my... Okay, let's see. Write a program to count blanks, tabs, and new lines. I'm just going to save this properly. This is what I got, came up with. Exercise 1-8. Let's see. Okay, so this is so first thing is, did this actually work? This is what I came up with. New line is 0, tab is 0, blank is 0. Well, see if... C is a tab, add tab, if it's a new line, new, up new line, if it's this, this, and it's supposed to count all of them. So did this actually work? I don't know if my program actually worked. Uh, I have some blanks here. I have some tabs here. I have some new lines above. You have three tabs, six new lines, and 13 blanks. Okay, that sounds right. So I did that. Okay, that program worked. So I did that. Because I, I forgot, I, I honestly, I got so pissed off at this that I gave up and stopped doing it altogether. So I have to figure out where I gave up. Write a program to copy its input to its output, replacing each string of one or more lines with a single blank. Okay, I did that. Write a program to copy its input to its output, replacing each tab by T, each backspace by slash B, and each backslash by slash slash. This makes tabs and backspaces visible in an unambiguous way. Okay, 110. I did not do that. Hey, N, thank you so much. You've been incredibly helpful. Thank you. You didn't tell me the answer, but you got me to think for myself, which... Like, I, I owe you a debt. You have a debt of gratitude for me, sir. Thank you, Anne. Thank you very much. Thank you. I mean that. All right. Now, let's see. Write a program to copy its input to its output. Okay. So replacing. Copy input to output, replacing each tab. Okay, so let's let's go to the program that I had before. College TA came in handy. <laughs> Thank you. It kind of makes me wonder if I should have went to college after all. I quit college to start doing MacBook screen repair for people, and then I kind of, because yeah, I failed uh, freshman chemistry, and then I fell down the rabbit hole of, like focusing on business and then business went to YouTube and then YouTube went to activism and then all of that just kind of became this giant clusterfuck of me never actually learning a skill. So I wound up like in this very, very roundabout way uh, ending up uh, skillless at 34. And now I kind of want to go back and learn things that I never learned in the beginning. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do I got to use some better file names because my file names here are absolute trash. No, I didn't study chemistry. I cheated to get out of uh, my, my chemistry regents while I was in high school. And then I failed freshman chemistry in college, which was a prerequisite in my first year. So I didn't really study chemistry. I failed chemistry. There's a very big difference there. Okay, so let's see. CP. Not sure. 1-9.c. So I'm going to start with my old program and use my old program to build my new program because this works. 
copy it to the top, replace every tab with a slash T, every backspace with a B, and every backslash with a slash slash. Okay. If C equals. Okay, let's do this. Well, C equals get care. If C is a tab, T, oh, you're still showing the Firefox tab. Fuck, my bad. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm in the wrong window, too. Fuck. Let me get the other terminal. Hello, Remdog Cap. So if C is a tab, if it's a tab, put car. I shouldn't have a magic thing, should I? I should not have anything be a magic character. By uh, each tab, I. Okay, we should define another thing. When do I use normal quotes versus single quotes? Like, I don't want this to actually type a tab. I want it to actually type just this. Do you know what I could do? I could do an experiment. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do an experiment real quick. I'm going to figure this out for myself. Experiment output. Is it F? I forget if it's F or H actually, fuck me. I'm not smart. Oh, H with this bullshit. Main. End, end tab. One sec, I'm gonna answer this question for myself. Fuck that. I'm not gonna read the chat. Fuck you, no, no, I'm, I'm, I, I, no offense, I, I, wanna, I wanna figure this out. Int tab. Tab equals. Does this work? Print F. D. Tab. Experiment output. One, one, one. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I expected that before printf. Oh, okay, when I declared this, this has to be also a okay, Stupid. Okay, that's not going to do what I want. <laughs> Single quote. Okay, single quote. We do single quote. Tab equals that. Got D. I wanted to print the text T. Okay, that doesn't do it. Okay, that prints a nine. I don't want it to print a nine. I want it to actually make the text slash T. Give me the text slash T. Huh. Right now, that's not a fact. Like I actually wanted to print text, not 
Oh, okay. I'm using I'm using the wrong shit with print, bro. I'm using the wrong. Th okay, I'm printing this instead of printing a C. Yeah, duh. I'm printing the ASCII of that. Okay, now you just print nothing. Well, G. Fuck. That doesn't actually do me any better. Wait, do I do that? What if I do this? Huh? Huh? No, it does me no good. Hmm. Oh. C to print the character. The character I wanted to. Yeah, I, okay. Oh, I'm printing tabs. Uh, what if I want I wanted to actually print the text. Okay, what if I do this? This is fucking stupid. This is actually retarded. <laughs> but I, I'm just curious. Oh my god. Okay, error that before tab two. Oh yeah, I broke my brain. <laughs> Introducing character escape codes this early is cruel. Useful but cruel. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm retarded. Never mind. Okay, I see what I did. No, don't, don't, don't you make fun of me. Don't you make fun of me. Okay, it's still printing. Oh wait, that's still an error. Before tab one, two. Mm -hmm. Expected that before tab two. Oh, I just fucked it. Okay, I, why did I even start down this rabbit hole? I don't even remember what made me decide to go down this rabbit hole to begin with. Missing terminating that character on tab one. Okay, yeah. Bray means the comment you removed is not that smart. Still missing comment. Tab one, tab two. If I just do this. Huh? Okay. He printed it. Okay, so it's printing a tab. It's still printing a fucking tab instead of printing the actual letters. This What is he trying to do? I want to print the letters tab. I, okay, I want I exercise one dash ten in the book that I linked. I'm trying to print the string literal instead of tabs. Yeah, okay, that's what a string. So what's this? Okay, so now I know what a string literal is. So how do I print a string literal instead of a tab? I don't think a comma between the C's is going to do it, but you know what? I want to trust you over me. Yeah, that just prints an actual physical comma. Okay, yeah, you know less than I do.
Hmm. Why did you put spaces inside the values you want to print? So car always confused me because it doesn't print the entire thing. Also car is still printing this instead of an actual tab. Okay, I gotta use full quotes. String is not a thing. You have to learn types. I don't know what that is. If you don't learn types, none of this will make sense. Car is a character. For string, you must use car this. That doesn't actually work. Oh, at slash s. Okay, yes. Okay, so that's a tab. Backspace, backslash. Segmentation fault. Huh. Thank you, Emily. Okay, so let's see if this... Which one is the one that breaks it? Which one is the one that breaks it? Oh, no, we're back to this bullshit. It was actually printing the word tab before. It was actually, okay, let's see. Tab equals fuck my life. Okay, so it prints, so it will print exactly what I put in there, but it, pr it doesn't print the actual literal slash and the T. It prints this bullshit. It actually prints, I don't want it to print a tab. I want it to actually print the letter, the ASCII character backslash and the ASCII character T. Because that's it's a, that's a trap, Emily. Because if I do Python, you'll tell me to do PHP. If I do PHP, you'll tell me to do C++. If I do C++, somebody will tell me to do Rust. And then you actually wind up in this infinite loop of never actually starting because you're not actually uh, doing anything. Declaring multiple variable on C is quirky. Hello, Hans. 
How are you, sir? You have to escape the slash. You need to escape the slash with an extra slash. Oh, thank you, Hans. Okay, so that would explain my segmentation fault. Okay, so Hans just got me to edit. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, fuck. Uh, print. I just. Let's see, what does that do? Eh. I just broke something. Oh, I used a curly place instead of a parentheses? Are you, wow, that's retarded. Hopefully Hans didn't see that. I'll never be able to face him again next time we go to that Indian restaurant downtown. Literally never be able to Oh, he saw it. Fuck me. Well, there's nothing I can do at that point other than live with my shame. I can just live with my shame. GCC experimental output. Okay. Oh, it's still erroring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Expected this before this. Expected before backspace. Okay, what did I do here? Okay, so it printed a tab, a backspace, and a backslash. Okay, so I'm getting closer. The main issue I have now is I don't want to print, I don't want to actually print this. I want to do exercise one, two. I mean, I, mean, I want to do exercise 110, which means I'm actually printing, I'm going to be like replacing each tab with an actual text. And I don't know how to replace it with the actual text. I need to figure out how to, how to, so before I even get to that, which is modifying my old program, modifying my old program to take the, if it's a, if it's a tab and printing the character slash T, I need to figure out how I actually even do that. So that's where I'm at right now, Hans. Hans has got to be laughing his ass off right now. How the fuck did this guy ever learn how to fix motherboards? He can't print a goddamn tab. Fight slashes with more slashes. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. <laughs> okay, if C equals a tab, put character slash T.
Mm-hmm. Well, also, I don't think I have to do this walling loop shit again. Or do I? Let's see. If C is a T, put car T. Hmm. Oh, I'm putting the book on stream. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I need multiple monitors, Hans. Sorry. If C is a T, get a character. If it's a tab, Put car C. Put, put a tab. I need a second phone so that I can see live stream and Hans at the same time. Put car can only print a single character. It cannot take a string. And T is two characters. Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do print F T. That makes life easy. That's an easy, I don't have to use a variable there. I was trying to use a variable to make it clean, but I don't actually have to do that. Let's keep it dirty for a moment. Print the text of a tab. Now I'm replacing tab, damn it. Hans, do you have a YouTube account? I'm trying to, I'm switching back and forth between Zula but not on my phone. Seth, so, you probably don't because you have a, you're a smart guy who doesn't want Google to have all this shit. Okay. Okay, if C equals B One moment, my brain is, my brain is going. I'm gonna get it. If C is equal to backslash. Oh, it's supposed to be a.
cook them with fire now. Lol. <laughs> okay. Uh, pause. But it's semicolon. Expect it for a while. Okay, so firstly, what the fuck am I doing with this tab? I'm not even using this anymore. I'll clean up things once it actually works. Let's see. It says everybody. I'll clean up everything after it works is exactly what they said when making the Wells Fargo code that deleted people's shit money. Okay. If Missing terminating a character. Hmm, so it's mad at this. Oh, because that's how you signify backslash. Expected that before else. Else without a previous if. Ah, oh, because I closed the brackets. So am I not supposed to close the brackets here? Oh, 
Okay, so I fucked up my brackets here. My brain is too broken to figure out what I did. Let's see. Looks like we want the second and third ifs to be else ifs. You have two else's. Yeah, I thought the L. Hey, what if I just delete this one? Let's just delete that one. Fuck it. What happens here? Testing my code. Does it work? It does not. It doesn't actually output anything. Hi. How can I help you? So it's supposed to replace certain things, but it's not actually putting car. It's only running my first if. So if it's only running my first if, shouldn't it, if I type tab, technically, if even if it's only running my first if, I should get, like, it should be printing a T. Oh, no, it's not printing a T. When I hit enter, it's giving me a tab. It's not printing slash T. Yeah, so when I do a tab, it actually prints. It's not printing the, sh the text backslash T. It's printing, it's actually making a tab. I have to do print f backslash backslash t. Okay, so it has to be back. Would it have to be backslash backslash b as well? Well, I'm going to find out, I suppose. Tab t. Okay, so what's the reason for that? I know this is retarded. I probably shouldn't be asking this. Got to do printf. So what does the first slash do then? If I have to print two slashes to get one slash. You can't write a new line in the middle of a C string. So does the first backslash tell C, I don't want you to actually make a tab, I just want you to say tab? Like, does, do they cancel each other out? So the, the, the first backslash is, so this over here, oh wait, no, that's not even the right one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I've lost myself here. Yeah. Okay, so this, the, this is an escape character, this one. Because if I delete that, it just makes a tab. But if I put that there, it actually prints the text that I wanted to print. I thought the quotes would have told printf I don't want you to print like an actual tab. I want you to make just print one slash, one backslash, and one T. If you want to use the escape character, you have to use escape the escape character. Oh, okay. If I want to use the escape character, I have to escape the escape character. Okay, now I understand. Cool. This is cool. All right. Ah, sorry. I dropped. You. I dropped you on the desk. That was loud. My bad.
Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't the Elsif come after the first diff? Let's see. My, I hate, sorry to say this, but that's not how backspaces work. This book is written with 80s terminals in mind. Modern terminals remove backspaces before it sends them to your program. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, then.
What is your end goal? My end goal is to be less retarded, Emily. That's my only end goal. Okay, let's see. If it's a tab, Now how do now it's not doing my backslash either. For every backslash it should turn it into a double backslash. So if I have this, I'm only getting one. If I type that, you get one. Is it because I'm supposed to have a third one? I think it's because I'm supposed to have a third one. Maybe I'm supposed to have a third one over here. Okay. Because I'm canceling a cancel. Ah! Oh God, what did I do? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, let's see, def. Oh no, 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 I took something that worked and I fucked it. Oh no, okay, here we go, wait. Oh, I fucked you hard, what did I do to you? Hmm, let's see, missing character. Missing terminating quote, print def. Expected expression before else. Did I delete a comment somewhere? Cat, I gave you food, you cunt. You have food, Oreo, eat the food. That shit costs $19 a box. Print T, print B. Seems to be disagreeing with this. Okay, when I had this, it worked. Is that the only difference? Okay, that makes it work. Putting a third backslash literally breaks everything. You know what, Hans, let me, let me suffer for another minute or two. I'm going to suffer for another minute or two. But Hans, God bless you. You're a good dude. Thank you. Three is okay. So why does three slashes piss it off so much? See that that's an inch. I'm very curious. Why did how did three? But what if I do four? Does that piss it off less or more? Okay, so four f pisses it off less. Tab tab. Okay. Backspace won't work. We already did that. Back.
because you need to skate the backslash twice. You're right. Okay, so each time. Okay, so let me, let me get this. So when I do one backslash, that's not going to work. Now, if I do two backslashes, that's actually an escape and a backslash. So this is escape and then backslash, and then that's escape and then backslash. So each time I put a backslash, uh, I'm escaping the next character. So this is not. It's, it doesn't think that this is double escape. It says escape character escape and then character again I mean, is that right mm -hmm. fuck yeah i'm gonna forget this shit in two hours but uh, I, i'm on a high right now i actually got something to work but i i mean mostly okay thank you for the yes hans is awesome okay i feel like i actually figured something out okay cool now what i used to do with macbook repair in the very early days I would take a component off of a working board and solder it back on. And if the board didn't go on fire, I would literally let, I would, I would actually ride that high for the rest of the day. Uh, I'm not kidding. So like if I took, like I remember back in 2009, like I take a fuse off of the board. I put it back on. The board doesn't go on fire. I would literally leave the store and I would just ride that high for the rest of the day. I would go to Mazetto, I'd get myself some uh, truffled gnocchi, some spicy feta, and then come back tomorrow for the next thing. Because uh, the, because the only, if I didn't do it that way, I would have most likely killed myself like 10 years ago. Because like it's, uh, there's, it's, so I, I try to celebrate the small victories. So I'm debating, a, yeah, G, board not going on fire, GCC.ere, exactly. So I'm debating just literally <laughs> calling it a day. I got exercise 1.9, that was torturing me for three days, and I got exercise 1.10. Uh, I'm, I'm legit thinking of just like call it like pretending that I'm Dennis Ritchie leaving and then coming back tomorrow. And then I get to be depressed later, but I want, like, it was very important to me to end each day on a good note. Like even with it. So then once I took a fuse off and put it back on, it didn't blow up. I take a QFN off and put it on and it would blow up. And because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't have a microscope and everything and I sucked at soldering. And then the entire high that I got from the first thing would be gone. And since I wouldn't have the dopamine rush, I wouldn't want to keep going later. And then I would give up for a f and then I would wind up giving up for um, a few weeks. And this is so I, I don't know if I've said this on the main channel before. I started trying to do board repair in 2009 because I, I had gotten started with like, a, let's say, you know, studio electronics and console repair and stuff in 2007. And I, I, get, I didn't fix my first board until 2013. And every time I'd fuck up, I would just like get so depressed that I left my equipment in the corner of the store and I wouldn't even bother again. And it wasn't until 2014 that I started like regularly hitting them out of the park over and over and over again. Uh, but it took me five years to learn that because I wouldn't allow myself to celebrate my victory. So I'm going to allow myself, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to let myself celebrate this victory. And uh, have I thought of Python later after I finish this book? There's a reason I want to finish this book. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, comment my code, and yeah, I'm gonna comment this so I know why this is. So I'm not gonna forget the slash shit, and then go print two backslashes. First backslash. <laughs> I have to figure out how to do a comment block instead of this. But I don't know how to do a comment block yet. I'll do that next time. First backslash wins. Okay, first backslash, escape, so I, I am allowed to print the second backslash as a normal last character, repeats twice for two backslashes. Who is Hans? Hans is, is a secret man. Hans is a, is a cool, okay. All right, that's it for today, and uh, thank you very much for teaching me something. Yeah, I feel happy. Okay, I'm going to keep at this, and uh, who knows? Who knows? It may be five years before I even remotely have a fucking clue what I'm doing. And you know what? I'm okay with that, because it took the five years to learn board repair. See you in the next one. Are you using Nano? I fucking am using Nano. I was using some ID. I think it's called Code Blocks. Yeah, I was using Code Blocks in... Uh, I was using code blocks originally in Windows, and it was really fucking annoying because it would put shit in places that I didn't even want it to be put, and it also kind of stunted my development in terms of actually like learning where shit is supposed to be by default, which was kind of annoying. 
And I'd rather like the syntax thing is not what's killing me. It's it's knowing the code to actually make. Like knowing what the commands do is the killer. The syntax thing is something my brain will eventually will eventually pick up. And 90% of what I got wrong so far hasn't been syntax. It's just been like I I didn't write down my algorithm before I started my code and stuff like that. So I'm I'm okay with using Nano for the time being. Later on, maybe I'll switch to something else. But for yeah, newbie edge is Hans, by the way, for anybody curious. And yeah, he was messaging me elsewhere. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do something else, and I'll see you all.